and I got an idea for a third book at a dinner party, and I thought it would be nice to have three books written. So I dashed off uh, Gone But Not Forgotten in about six months, raising two kids and with a full-time law practice. And I called up my agent, and I said, would, would you... I just wrote a new book. Would you like to see it? And I, you know, she said I, I would, but my son's getting married in Paris and I won't be back until early July. And I said, well, you waited 12 years for me. I can wait a couple of weeks for you. So I just said, I'll send it to you and let me know. And, and to be very honest with you, I had no idea it would be very successful. I just was hoping, I thought it'd be nice to get a third book published. And I didn't really even care, you know, what I got paid or because I, it wasn't, I was feeding myself with the law practice. And uh, it was right when the legal thriller craze started. And uh, Scott Turow had written Presumed Innocent in 87, 89, Grisham wrote The Firm. And in between my agent going to Europe and coming back, I started getting letters from all over the country from people I hadn't spoken to in years. And they each had a copy of an article from the New York Times business section. And it said that everybody in America wanted to read legal thrillers, but they didn't have any books written by lawyers that they could put out. And it honestly said in the book, there was one type of lawyer that every publisher would kill his mother to get a hold of, and that was a full-time criminal defense lawyer who'd written a book about law. And, you know, I thought God had created a genre that only I fit into. So uh, my agent came back and she auctioned the book off. And the next thing I know, I'm on the New York Times bestseller list for 10 weeks and then movie deals. And it was very weird. You know, I was sitting in my little office still doing my practice and I'm getting calls from Whoopi Goldberg and movie deals and deals in Germany. So it was, it was pretty pretty freaky but interesting period in my life. <laughs>